Coming up, I'm joined by Dave Kearney, director on the Surface Engineering team to review the first device in the Surface Hub 2 family, the Surface Hub 2S. It's an all-in-one collaboration device that's built for teamwork, delivering a digital whiteboard, meetings platform, and a Windows 10 computing experience in one device. And we'll look at built-in features from the 4K camera to the 4K Plus screen, and audio design that make participating in online meetings feel less remote. And keep watching to see how the modularity of the new Surface Hub 2S makes it more serviceable and updatable. Dave, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. So this device, it's a brand new Surface Hub 2S. And I've got to say, the first thing that really struck me when I saw it was the slim design and also the impressive screen real estate. And I can barely even see these bezels. Yeah, it has incredibly thin 15 millimeter bezels, an optimized ink and touch experience. The key engineering challenge for us was achieving both on the same device. And this speaks to one of our most important engineering principles for Surface, which is to get the hardware out of the way and just allow you to stay in your flow. You'll notice that with this new design, there's a clear affinity with the rest of the Surface family. For example, we're using this signature 3-2 aspect ratio, and that extra screen real estate is fantastic for creation and editing, not just viewing. And a big priority for us during development was to make sure that the Surface Hub 2 was mobile and untethered from the traditional conference room. And I think you'll agree we've accomplished that goal. Right, and I can see that the hub here is on a mobile stand. And can you explain more about mobility as really part of the design? Sure, so you mentioned the form factor. We agonized over every ounce going into this device. Cutting out weight, it's actually 40% lighter than its predecessor and weighs just under 30 kilograms. So you can easily mount it on the wall, but where it really gets its legs is when it's paired with this beautiful steel case Rome mobile stand. There's a few things I want to call out about this stand because it's the result of a fantastic partnership with Steelcase to perfect the experience. And let me just show you what I mean. It's super easy to move the device, very fluid. It's designed so it can be moved effortlessly. Does that seem pretty easy? I can imagine how easy it would be to move from space to space. Right, another thing we wanted to focus on was approachability. It's super important for us to have a design so that you can get up close to the device and there's no obstacles to trip you up and get in the way of collaboration, it's great. And I really like that it's lightweight, it's robust, it's also mobile at the same time, but how are we dealing with power? Right, I'm glad you asked, we've thought about that too. AC power outlets aren't always located where your team needs to do their work. So we partnered with APC by Schneider Electric to build this lithium ion APC charge mobile battery for Surface Hub 2. And it sits here in the tray of the mobile stand giving us this beautiful integrated design. It not only helps you power the device while you move it, but it keeps the device powered while you're using it. It's a game changer. So you can use the device then while you're on the move, but why don't we move on to the user experience and some of the things that make this device unique. So I'll start when you enter the workplace. And like the first Surface Hub, we want to make sure that you can just walk up to the device and use it. You'll notice that we no longer have those large pillars with sensors from the first Surface Hub. We're now using a Doppler present sensor that's invisibly integrated into our slim bezel. And we've put the three most common user scenarios right here on the welcome screen, call, whiteboard, and connect. And the Surface Hub 2S, like the rest of the Surface Hub family, is a really great platform for meetings. That's right, for sure. We have both Microsoft Teams, Skype for Business, so you have options for the cloud or on-prem, and to allow them to coexist while you migrate. We've worked really hard to make Surface Hub 2S meetings more immersive if you're in the room and to help you feel less remote when you're not. And it all starts with the screen. We have designed a 50-inch 4K plus pixel sense display. We have an amazing anti-glare surface on the screen that we worked really hard on over the course of a year, testing more than 100 samples to find the magic formula to deliver great performance in terms of glare reduction, image clarity, and fabulous pen and touch feel. Okay, in this case, the Surface Hub, myself, and others have been invited to a meeting. And you can see the meeting invite is actually visible here from the lock screen. I can go ahead with one touch and join the Microsoft Teams meeting. And you can see we've actually got a number of participants already in the meeting. And we'll just go ahead and full screen their video feeds. Say, hey team, how's it going? You're all looking great. As you can see, you can have up to four active incoming video feeds. And benefiting from the 4K screen, there's no compromise on the resolution. Each individual rendered at up to full HD. And they could all be using different device types. Okay, so what else have we done then to optimize the experience for in-person and remote participants? 
So we make meetings feel less remote a number of ways. First, the camera at the top of the screen. This little camera hides a ton of innovation and technology. Clearly capturing a group of people huddled around the device is critical, so the camera is 4K and delivers a 90 degree horizontal field of view. We also know that natural colors and uniform lighting are important to a cognitively comfortable meeting experience, so we've built a solution that deals with both. A unique challenge given that field of view and high resolution. Beyond the camera, though, we've also worked a lot on audio clarity. We want remote collaboration to be as effortless as being in the same room, even in noisy environments. To make this possible, sound is delivered using a pair of two-way front-facing, super wideband stereo speakers and a discrete bass module designed to faithfully reproduce human voice. And we have an integrated eight microphone full band array with beam forming that focuses on people speaking in front of the device and not on sounds from the sides or back. And then to minimize annoying background noise, we then process the signal using a new capability called Smart Voice Automatic Gain Control to improve voice clarity. OK, now, what if I want to collaborate in the meeting with, for example, the whiteboard? I can see where this 3 by 2 aspect ratio would really be helpful. For sure. Let's go ahead and jump into the whiteboard to see what that looks like. So this is the golden ratio for our devices. And you do really appreciate that extra display height, giving you a bigger window into the Microsoft whiteboard. So I'm going to sign into the whiteboard. And because I'm part of a meeting that's scheduled on the Surface Hub device, I can select my name and sign in. You can see I'm right at the top of the list. I can hit Continue. I've got my phone here with the Microsoft Authenticator app. I'm going to go ahead and unlock the device. And this is going to go ahead and send me a notification on my device that I just go ahead and match the number that's on the screen. So I can hit 77 here, Approve, and that's done. I can put down my phone. So now I'm in, and the beauty of the whiteboard is unlike an analog one, it gives you a persistent digital canvas. If I hit the back button, I can also see my past whiteboards. And you can see now this is my list of things that I've worked on recently. And if I tap on one, it's going to go ahead and immediately rehydrate the content. And in this case, this is the Surface Hub 2S website that me and the team have been brainstorming on. Now, we can add people to this whiteboard. We can just go ahead and tap this and write their names in here. We can also see that we've got several people already in. You can see Addy and Megan are actively contributing ideas and content right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab the pen here and just show you what the ink experience is like and just draw an arrow there because actually what we need to do is finalize what the hero image is going to be for our website. So let me tell you a little bit more about our next generation ink and touch experience. We've actually removed layers between the LCD and the cover glass and that reduces the gap, reduces parallax even more than the previous generation Surface Hub. And that means as I write with the pen, it feels like ink is flowing directly from its tip. So is there anything else new with the pen? Yes, we've improved the usability of the pen. We've added a lasso button on the side here. This makes it easier when I want to select items, for example, to move them around on the whiteboard. Let me show you how this works. I'm going to go ahead and press the button. I'm going to go ahead and select this particular object here because what me and the team want to do is actually change out this hero image for our website. So I can just grab this and I can move it over here out of the way. So the new pen is powered by a AAA battery and there are actually eight magnetic mount points around the perimeter to place the pen on. And something really neat too is that if you have colleagues still using analog whiteboards, you can bring in those whiteboards and interact with them just as if they were created on the Surface Hub. I'm actually working with uh, colleagues here who are still using these analog whiteboards. And look, we've pasted in a picture of one here taken from a mobile phone. And it's very easy for me now to move this up into the spot where we previously had the other hero image. And I can just kind of adjust it a little bit, edit the size, slide it over here. And we'll use a new feature in the Microsoft whiteboard called Ink Grab, accessed by tapping the little magic wand icon here. And what you're going to see happens is that this picture of an analog whiteboard is actually transitioned, transformed into digital ink. As that just happened right there. Now I can edit this. I can erase this little label here at the top because we don't need that anymore. I can further refine the placement of this image, make it a little bit larger. And you can see that that blends in just as if it was originally created on the Surface Hub. Also, to celebrate this moment that we've finished our design for the whiteboard, I can come over here to the side and using my famously bad left-handed whiteboard penmanship, I can say, great job. 
And you can see this is hard to read, but another fantastic feature is called ink beautification. Accessed again with that little magic wand icon, it'll transition that into actually legible font. Okay, so why don't we switch gears and talk about an area that's super important for our tech enthusiast audience watching the ports. Now, this is very important if I want to connect devices to the Surface Hub 2S or maybe project display out. Sure, so around the display, we actually have four USB-C ports for connecting devices, such as removable media or other peripherals. These ports are also specifically designed for the Surface Hub 2 camera, and I'll get back to that in a minute. Then on the back of the device, we have a comprehensive array of ports. We have USB-A, we have C, gigabit ethernet, HDMI input, and mini display port output. The USB-C port on the bottom is special. It supports DisplayPort, so you can attach many mobile devices. In fact, Surface devices with USB-C can project with touchback using that single USB-C cable. And of course, we have built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, as well as Miracast with wireless touchback support. And it's running a quad-core, eighth-generation Intel Core processor with 128 gigabyte internal SSD. Okay, so now if you're in IT, how do you configure and manage a Surface Hub 2S? I'm glad you asked. We wanted to make sure that Surface Hub 2S is very easy for our customers and partners who've already invested in the first Surface Hub to deploy and manage. So it's managed in the exact same way as Surface Hub 1, with the addition of Surface Enterprise Management Mode, or SEMM. SEMM is technology shared across Surface products that enables you to manage aspects of the hardware and firmware at the firmware level. For example, owners can restrict boot options, disable the various radios in the system, such as Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and lock down access to the Eufy menu itself. It's a really great set of capabilities, Dave, but what else can people look forward to in the new Surface Hub 2 family of devices? I'm glad you asked. When we set out the vision for Surface Hub 2, we designed it to be modular and updatable. You might have heard about advanced future features like tiling, multiple Surface Hubs together, dynamic rotation, and lots more. These features will come to life in an experience called Surface Hub 2X on the horizon. The beauty of this design is that Surface Hub 2S will be fully updatable to Surface Hub 2X. We actually have a removable processor cartridge on the back of the device, and our modular design allows you to swap out the 2S cartridge with the 2X cartridge when it's available. The 2X cartridge will include new computer components as well as software updates. And when installed, it'll unlock the previously dormant rotation mechanism that ships as part of every Surface Hub 2S. So you really do get the full experience through the update. We've also been thoughtful about how we designed audio. Remember earlier I showed you that we have an eight element mic array and two stereo front firing speakers. Well, there's actually a second mic array and a third front firing speaker present in the system that are all activated as part of the Hub 2X update to enable a great audio experience in either portrait or landscape configurations. Now, what about the camera? I know that it detaches. It does. It can be moved to support portrait mode. There's actually an internal lens rotation mechanism that allows you to set up the field of view for either portrait or landscape. And if there were an accidental impact to the camera, it is designed with that breakaway foot to, and an integrated tether to allow the camera to detach, bounce back without damaging the camera or having the camera drop to the floor. Okay, so the modular approach is a really great peace of mind. It's awesome to see the level of innovation and thinking that you and the team have put into this device. So thanks Dave for joining us on the show, but how can people learn more? Yeah, thanks Jeremy. We're excited about Surface Hub 2, and you can learn more at the link shown. Also, if you want to dive deeper into setup management, tips and tricks, we've got that too. Good stuff. And of course, subscribe and keep watching Microsoft Mechanics for the latest tech updates. That's all the time we have for this show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.